Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video on Archer NG. However, what was not clear was that is it going to be a same Archer UAV earlier showcased by DRDO or it's going to be entirely a new one. Now since Aero India show has started, we have got clarity on this. DRDO is working on three UAV programs and all of them have derived its technology from Rustam program. These three UAVs are Tapas BH, Archer NG and SR UAV. All of them belongs to the class of medium attitude long endurance that is male UAV designed to cater for the IST requirement of Indian Armed Forces. Their primary role is going to perform intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions and artillery fire correction. However, Archer NG and SR UAV can also carry out these strike missions. While SR UAV has been designed for light attack role, the Archer NG will be able to carry higher weapons payload. The common features among all these three UAV is the use of composite airframe, dual redundant flight control system, data link and auto takeoff and landing. Talking about Tapas, it will be able to operate at an altitude of 28,000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hour. It is a highly reliable UAV with fail-safe architecture, employing redundant indigenous high rail subsystem. The ground operation suite is reconfigurable and highly advanced state-of-art system for current as well as for future UAVs. Tapas will have a range of 250 kilometers and can carry payload of up to 350 kg. It is integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO or SAR and electronic warfare payload. The UAV has been tested for more than 170 plus flights with different payload and mission profiles. The user trials of Tapas is planned from second quarter of 2023. Talking about Archer NG, it is going to be single engine twin boom UAV designed to perform I star and strike missions. It will have line of sight range of 250 km and beyond line of sight range of 1000 km. It can operate at an altitude of 30,000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hours. Archer NG will be able to carry 300 kg of weapons payload, which will include smart anti airfield weapon and anti tank guided missile. It will be integrated with SATCOM and can carry EOSAR and electronic warfare payload. The median flight trial of UAV is planned in July 2023. The next UAV is Short Range Weaponized UAV or in short SR UAV, which is DRDO's rebranded Archer UAV. It will be able to gather near real time high quality imagery and signals intelligence with light attack capability. It could possibly carry two anti tank guided missiles. The UAV will be able to operate at an altitude of 22,000 feet with an endurance of 12 hours and a range of 250 kilometers. At present, the UAV is under validation phase of upgraded avionics architecture through flight trials and release of anti-tank guided missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.